So do you like Serge Lutens fragrances? In this video, I've got 10. We're putting them in the top 10 order, and we're gonna do that coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on my channel, and or if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button below and click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And that's right, we have 10 fragrances. Actually, I take that back. I've got 11 Serge Lutens fragrances here. 11 that I've had for some time. Some I've had longer than others, but we've got a total of 11. We're gonna do one honorable mention and the rest in the top 10 list. So let's get started. A lot of these also are really low in juice as I've been using them up. But uh, we're going to go ahead and start out with this one that doesn't come in a bottle like this anymore. And this is very low also. I've got a little bit left. And at number 11, or the honorable mention, it's Musk Kubla Khan. This one right here. So this was purchased by me back in 2013. I bought it from Amazon at the time and I was really into musks. I had just picked up... Um, actually, I think I picked up... Um, uh, Kiehl's Musk, uh, probably about two, three years ago, I had found a deal at, at TJ Maxx prior to 2013. So I had been wearing that one and had, I had read how great this was as a musk. It was also kind of a, a dirty, skanky, animalic musk. And uh, so I got it and it is, it's quite the dirty animalic musk, but uh, it's quite good. It's really, really good actually. Now, if you like the one from Kiehl's, you'll want to check this one out because this one is actually more authentic. Um, and I'm not sure if they're really using deer musk here. I don't think they are, but it smells a lot more authentic than the Kiehl's musk does. And obviously, as you can see, I've um, got very minimal amounts of it here. I've actually, you know, um, sold a, a little bit of decants here to a few friends of mine that uh, wanted to get this. It's not easily found. It comes in a bell jar like this now. And um, actually, I can show it to you like this. And the bell jars are not as easy to be found. Um, you can pick them up in Paris, of course. The bell jars are around 165 euros. But when I bought this one, it was 145 euros. So I think the prices are going up. But uh, if you like a musk and you want to get the Serge Lutens Musk Kublai Khan, uh, get it from uh, Paris or I think some Barney's stores do carry it, but it's definitely double the amount you would pay for it if you bought this in Paris. So at number 11 or the honorable mention is Musk Kublai Khan. So let's go ahead and get started with the num top 10 list. And at number 10, we got Un Bois Vanille. This is a new one. I just put out a video recently about how to get discounted Serge Lutens fragrances, so I, I mentioned it in that video. Now this is a very woody, uh, slightly waxy uh, vanilla fragrance. It's completely different than any other vanilla fragrances that I have, but I, I like this one. I enjoy wearing it, and if you like a vanilla and a variation on a vanilla or a different take on vanilla, this is one to check out. Um, so it's, it's quite nice. I like it, and it's uh, down on the bottom of the list because it's not like a wow fragrance for me, but it's definitely one to check out from Serge Lutens. Now, uh, this list is my, my list in favorites. Now, if you have the same fragrances, I'm sure you might not react the same way to this fragrance as I would. You might end up putting this at the very top, so I wouldn't know. But for me, Un Bois Vigny is number 10. So at number nine, it's one that is very, very lovely, but it's a, I find it hard to wear for some odd reason. Um, but this is called Arabi, this one right here. Uh, now this one to me reminds me of dried apricot fruit roll-up type of candy. I guess I wouldn't really call that candy, but you know, like almost like candy. But um, in the Middle East, I grew up eating this like fruit roll-up thing that we used to pick up or buy made with apricots. And this actually smells like that. It was slightly spicy, definitely fruity, a little bit gummy, but it was like a paste and a roll, but not so much of a roll up, but uh, it was like a flat, um, it came flat, but it was long and you'd pick off little bits and pieces of it and ate it. This kind of smells like that uh, to me, uh, which I like. It just reminds me of the Middle East, of course, and that's 
uh, kind of appropriate because it says Arabi on it. So if you like that kind of a smell, fruity, spicy, uh, a little bit Middle Eastern kind of smelling, definitely check out Arabi. It's, it's definitely ambery also. So Arabi is number nine. And number eight is the very first Serge Lutens fragrance I bought, dating back to the early 2010s. Bought it in 2010. And this is called Feminite du Bois here. I bought it in Germany when I was visiting Germany for the first time. And in a department store in Stuttgart, Germany, they were selling Serge Lutens fragrances. It was my very, very first experience with Serge Lutens. And I smelled so many. And I bought two. I bought one for me and I bought one for my mom. This is Feminite du Bois. And what I liked about this is the fruity vibe. It's very fruity. Uh, it's plum. And I think there's also apricot, a little bit honey, and lots of woody. It might come off slightly feminine, and, and probably it is. But Feminine Dubois, I think, is one of their very first fragrances. And it was also under Shiseido, who later purchased Serge Lutens. So if you know that brand, it's a makeup brand who launched Feminine Dubois just before, uh, actually as a, a Shiseido, and then later, uh, Serge Lutens launched it under Serge Lutens. But um, if you like that sort of thing, it's really, really cool. Check it out. But here's a unique thing with this fragrances, because actually not fragrances, fragrance. As you can see here, the logo is a like a house. And I think that is the, the, the Palais Royale um, store that Serge Lutens um, uh, you can go to in Paris. But here, the new ones are the logo, as you can see, LS. Here we've got the house and the logo here. So that's how old this bottle is, and it still smells great today. And I think they changed labels for Serge Lutens fragrances probably somewhere around 2011, 2012. I can't remember. But as I said, I purchased this one back in 2010, uh, late 2010. So, uh, so that's the difference between these and actually the bottles used to be completely different at one point and some a subscriber had sent me a link and I looked it up and it was a pretty amazing experience to check out all these links. But anyway, uh, going back to the scent, if you like that plummy, fruity, woody fragrance, definitely check out Feminite Dubois. I find it very unisex, even though it says feminine. So at number um, seven, we've got five o'clock Agin Jambre right here. Another one that I had mentioned in the bargain uh, Serge Lutens fragrances purchase video. But this one is very gingery, spicy tea to me. Kind of cozy, slightly gourmandish. And I really, really like this one. This one's actually, I think, pretty popular in the community. After Shergi, I think this one's probably the most popular. But to me, it's great, not like wow. And it's not, it's a great fragrance. I love to have it here. But um, it's not one of the ones that is wow to me. So. Five o'clock a gingembre, ginger, spice, cozy, kind of a slightly holiday-like fragrance is really, really good for that one. So five o'clock a gingembre is number seven. At number six, we've got one that I really love, one of my very first gourmand fragrances. And as you can see, it's got a little bit left here. It's called Jeau de Peau. Jeau de Peau is milky, bready, doughy, yummy goodness. I just love the way this smells. And I didn't realize my friend Kara, who I've done many videos with, also likes this one and also has it or had it be even before we met. So it's kind of unique that we both like it. And I just love this one. If you like that kind of, um... oh, the other thing I want to mention with this one is it's slightly licorice-y also, so, which is really good. I love licorice and fragrances, but it's not a big, big licorice, licorice smell. But it's very, very bready, doughy, uh, gooey, um, Swedish kind of uh, cookie yummy, that kind of fragrance. So check out Jeu de Peau. It's really lovely if you like gourmand fragrances. And that's at number six. So the top five, we're going to number five that I fell in love with and I've always wanted a bottle and I finally did get the bottle and I had spoken about in the discount um, Serge Lutens fragrances video. This is Fleur d'Oranger right here. So basically that translates to orange flower, orange blossom and what I like about this one, it's definitely orange blossom, orange flower. Um, it doesn't come off like that in the bottle, but when you put it on, um, my skin chem chemistry brings out a little bit of like either cumin or caraway seed-like notes, 
and that makes it really, really lovely. I absolutely love this one. It's turned out to be one of my favorite um, orange blossom scents as of late, and it has great performance. I find this to be perfect for spring and, of course, fall as well. Uh, even though I don't associate orange blossoms with fall, it's more spring to me, but it kind of smells great with the cumin in it. Kind of, kind of similar cumin that's in um, Rose 31 by Le Labo. So, Florida Orangere by Serge Lutens is at number five. At number four, we got the very, very famous, the most popular in Fragcom Serge Lutens fragrance, and that is Chergui, a brand new bottle that I also picked up from FragranceNet, and it was about $55 there. Um, I love this one, and it was probably my second or third Serge Lutens after Feminine de Bois from um, 2010, this one. Um, I bought the first one I had uh, of um, uh, Shariki, bought it back in 2013, so uh, two years later. But what I like about that is this is the honey, the hay, the tobacco, yummy. It's just a really, really lovely fragrance, and I can understand why people love this one and why it's such a popular fragrance from Serge Lutens. If you don't know it, you're probably <laughs> new in the Fragcom or fragrance community, but um, definitely check it out especially if you like honey and fragrances and tobacco and all that good stuff. So it's Chergui by Serge Lutens at number four. At number three, this is awesome. I love this one and it's a given that I like or love it because I love ambers. This is Ombre Sultan and um, this has similarities to Dior's Mitza, uh, the very popular discontinued fragrance, although this is actually no longer being made as this. That's what I've read. They're, they've discontinued this one. It's going into the bell jars. So I'm not sure how true that is, but I recently picked up a bottle around $65 uh, dollars at uh, FragranceNet again. Um, and I love this one because I love amber and it's a, a slightly herbal kind of amber. I think it has oregano notes in there and uh, that kind of green notes. So uh, it's dense and ambery, but it has this like uh, fresh aromaticness to it because of the herbs. And that's what I like about this one. But it's really, really similar. It has similarities. I shouldn't say really, really similar, but really uh, has similarities to Mitza by Dior. So if you've been wanting to get a bottle of the uh, Dior Mitza, check this one out before, because I think this one's still pretty easy to find, especially since I just bought it for about $65 on FragranceNet. So Ombre Sultan is number three. Number two is one that I have in a bell jar. It's Fumeri Turk. This right here. Um, now this one, slightly dirty, slightly ambery tobacco. Fumeri Turk, I guess, means fire, Turkish fire or Turkish smoke. I can't remember exactly what the French translation is. But if it's a tobacco scent again, and I... I absolutely love this one. I really, really love it. And the only way it's available is in the bell jar, as you can see. And just love, love, love it. But the problem is you have to have an atomizer to pop this in, of course, to decant into and wear. And I just wish it came in a bottle with a sprayer like this because um, it makes it a little more challenging, which I've done, as you can see. And I've also sold a few bits of it to some friends because this is uh, not as easy to find as these are because they're also more expensive. I bought this one, as I said, for 145 euros. Now, I think these are selling for 165 euros now, perhaps even at 170. And I don't think, I think this is a 75 mil or 80 mil, somewhere around there. I can't see a size on here currently. So it is a little more expensive than these. Although not really, I don't, I don't think not, I don't think so, but it's probably around the same, uh, but um, Maybe a little more, I can't remember right now. But do check out Fumeri Torque if you don't know it. It's a great, great tobacco. It's actually been featured in my top 10 or 15 tobacco fragrances video. So Fumeri Torque is number two. Last but not least, I need to get another bottle of this one, but I have a little bit of the juice left. It's Fi Anangui by Serge Lutens. Okay, this is the best Serge Lutens for me. I love this one. So you know me that I love dried fruits and fragrances, and this is all about pine tree, resins, and dried fruits. So if you think that the pine tree and the resins are going to be astringent and things like that, yes, they do come off like that. But here, the dried fruit sweetens it up, makes it a lot more accessible and a lot better. I just love this scent. This is my second bottle, and I've, I've used up so much of it. 
I gotta get me another one, but I can't find a deal on this one yet. I hope it's not one of the ones that's been discontinued. I'll be really pissed off, because if I, it is, then I'm gonna have to buy it like this. But this is just so good, so, so good. Great Christmas fragrance to wear, because it's just Christmas in a bottle, I think. The pine tree and the resins. I think there's also incense in here, of course, the sweetened up part with the dried fruits. So if you don't know it, do check it out, Fi Arangi. I think it stands for girl with pins or needles or something like that. Uh, I guess it refers to pine needles, I don't know, but it's an awesome scent. Check it out. fragrances plus an honorable mention from Serge Lutens. What are your favorite Serge Lutens fragrances? Do you like this brand? Do you know it? Do you not like it? It does have some hype, but not many people talk about it. But I love this brand. I also love the house, the, not the house, but I also love the store in Paris. If you ever make it there, do definitely go to Serge Lutens because it's an experience. Really, really beautiful place. Anyway, Let's get, this con let's get a conversation started. Let me know what your favorite uh, Serge Lutens fragrances are. Put them down. And also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.